Hello people from the internet, I'm Hero Dev and today I'm gonna show you which steps I took to make the first part for a little bullet hell in Godot. So the way I'm gonna show you is not a step by step tutorial because I don't have the knowledge to do that. So I'm gonna sum it up in a quick way and that's probably gonna be the way I'm gonna do this kind of video. So leave a like, subscribe and then we're gonna start. Okay, so for the player character we made the movement I already made the slow down feature you're gonna see here and then I'm just gonna set all the variables that I'm gonna need and then I already programmed the damage function and as you can see you can also use a match if statement if you want different stuff to happen at different health of your player then for the bullet scene I made a simple script for that as well the only important thing is that when the area 2D is detecting something some body we're gonna check if is in the group of the player and then link it up to the damaged function so for the player shooting system I made that the player is gonna instantiate a bullet uh, from a marker to the position and then uh, in the bullet scene I made the damage function and it's gonna simply go straight uh, separated from the player movement so we can move around and the player is gonna continue on its axis and for when it's gonna detect some body it's gonna go and check the group for the body that it's collided with and check if it's the enemy it's gonna go and damage that specific enemy and on the other end for the enemy shooting system uh, I made that the enemy is gonna aim for the player so in the bullet scene check the player position and then aim for that go and damage the player so that was everything for this episode I hope you enjoyed and I know it's a short one but but hey I figured that it's the best way to show you the steps I took to uh, learn this part of the Godot 4 system since the last time I touched the Godot was in the Godot 3 version. I hope you enjoyed anyway, so see you guys for the next video. Bye bye!